Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, welcome. So today, we are going to be getting into talking about colored hair and how you can actually maintain colored hair that is healthy. Yes, I'm happy to tell you that there is a way to do it. Y'all already know I'm all about making sure that you're maintaining super, super nice and healthy, beautiful curls that you can always feel proud rocking. So I'm gonna be sharing with you all of my top tips before we do jump into that. If you guys like what you see, go ahead and make sure you subscribe to this channel, okay? And then also make sure you hit the notification bell as well so you'll be one of the first people to be notified every single time a new video drops. So I know when the seasons change, like how we're getting on into fall right now, I feel like that is when people kind of get a little bit of an itch to color their hair. It's like the perfect time to switch up the look, new season, new me, you know what I mean? I totally get it, I'm feeling the itch too. And I just wanna see y'all still flourishing with your curls after they've been colored because honestly, it doesn't make sense to color your hair if you're gonna end up damaging it in the process, right? So first, like right off the bat, you gotta know, like if you are thinking about coloring your hair, you need to know that it's going to take a little bit of extra maintenance after it's colored. It doesn't really matter if you wanna go platinum blonde or if you just want some simple highlights, kinda like what I have in my hair. Either way, it will take additional maintenance to make sure that your hair is still gonna be nice and beautiful and healthy, even with the color applied to it. If you are a person who doesn't really pay too much attention to your hair, you already don't do your weekly deep treatments, or maybe you just don't have the time or you just never remember to actually like give your hair some TLC, then I would personally say coloring your hair is probably not for you because like I said it's going to need a little bit of additional maintenance in order to make sure it's staying healthy so definitely if you are lazy with your hair if you don't take care of it please stay away from color unless you want damaged hair and like who wants that instead you can maybe play around with some temporary hair color they have the waxes I know Curl Smith just came up with their hair makeup so there are definitely other solutions for people who just aren't willing to commit or willing to have to put in a little bit of extra maintenance in their hair in order to keep it healthy after a permanent color. So that's always an option for you as well. But if you have listened to all of that and you feel like, okay, yes, sis, I'm ready for the maintenance. I'm okay with that. I'm good with my deep treatments now. I'll do what I need to do to keep it healthy. Then I will give you some more tips on how you can really make sure that you're doing this the right way. So my first tip for you is actually gonna be to make sure that you are going to a professional when you get your hair colored. Did you hear me? Let me say it again for the people in the back. Go to a professional to color your hair, please. And if you are a curly girl, you need to go to a stylist who is specialized in coloring curly hair. All right. Not only will your professional stylist be educated on the chemicals that they're using, know exactly how to use them, how long, etc., etc., but they will also be able to talk you through a game plan. If you are somebody with naturally dark hair like me and you're trying to go platinum blonde, straight up, they should be able to sit you down and tell you this is not gonna happen in one session, you're gonna have to do it in multiple sessions. That way you'd be able to manage your expectations for your desired results. There is just so much room for error when you are going to color your hair as an amateur, by yourself, at home. There, it's just, it's just risky and honestly it's not worth it. If you're gonna color your hair, you're coloring your hair because you wanna switch up. You're not coloring it because you wanna damage your hair. So if you're really looking to minimize as much damage to your hair as possible, I definitely, definitely recommend you see a professional, okay? I have filmed an entire video on how you can find the right hair salon and or the right hairstylist for you. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it up here and in the description box below for you guys to check out next. All right, so my next tip is going to be for those who are not necessarily going for a result that is too drastic from what their natural hair color looks like, and that is going to be to opt out of bleach. This is also something that you can discuss with your professional hairstylist when you're talking about your desired results. And I know you're probably like, sis, what? Like, if you're getting hair color, don't you need to bleach? But no, it might come as a surprise, but you actually don't have to bleach. Sometimes you can just put on the color, let it sit for a while, and then it'll lighten without having to use bleach. Yes, this works on dark hair, because yes, that is how I did my highlights. 
So if you guys are interested in actually seeing the video process of me getting my Pintura highlights done, I filmed it and I put it up on my IGTV. So you guys can check that out on Instagram. It's there. So I'll include a couple pictures here that you can see. But at first when I colored my hair, it came out, it showed up, it was beautiful. But as you can see back then, it was a little bit more subtle. Over time, like over months and months and months, my highlights actually continue to lighten a little bit more naturally, like on their own. I have not recolored, I have not bleached or anything since then, but as you can see, like over time, they've definitely gone a little bit lighter, which I've kind of enjoyed the little process of doing that. And I'm sharing this with you so that you can actually sit down and have a conversation with your hairstylist about it. The best kind of hairstylist will actually tell you straight up, let's see how we can do this without bleach. If you have a hairstylist that is already trying to steer you away from bleach as much as possible, that's a really good sign, okay? Make sure you stay with them. So yeah, opt out of bleach wherever possible. I will say, yes, that is definitely for a more subtle look. You will not be able to achieve a platinum, blonde kind of vibe from a dark, natural hair color without bleach. So if you are going for something a little bit more bright, then you might not be able to opt out of bleach as I did. All right, so whether or not you end up using bleach, my next tip for you is going to be to make sure that you're using non-toxic, color-safe products. So you're not only gonna need to look for products that actually say color safe on the bottle, cause legit, like they say it right there, boom, bam, it's in your face color safe and it's perfect. It makes it very, very easy for you as a consumer. But I wanna encourage you guys to go one step further and make sure you're using color safe products that also are non-toxic. I'm talking about paraben free and sulfate free. So if you got a product that says color safe, sulfate free and paraben free on it, you are already one step in the right direction. Making sure that you're keeping all those harsh chemicals out of your freshly colored hair is going to be a major key. You don't wanna add anything harsh on top of the harshness that you already added onto it with the color, okay? especially if you use bleach. Now I know over here on my channel, I always talk about how I prefer to stay away from silicone. And I did want to say that there are a couple people who say that using silicones after a fresh color is actually a good thing. As we know, silicones coat the hair, which is why I kind of tend to stay away from it because a lot of times it can make it difficult for moisture and water and products to get back into the hair shaft since it's coating it. But when you have a fresh set of color applied to your hair, that coating mechanism can actually be your best friend. It can even make your color last a little bit longer and prevent it from fading. You definitely don't wanna go overboard with the silicone, so I would definitely suggest maybe using products that have the water-soluble silicones as opposed to the ones that are a little bit more difficult to wash out, because then you might have a little bit of issue with buildup. I did do a video all about that as well, so I will link it up here and below for you to check out too. But yeah, you should know that the products you're you're gonna use after your hair is colored are going to be key. So while silicones might get a little bit of pass, again, definitely steer clear of the sulfates and the parabens. So just off the top of my head, a few brands that you can like overall just feel really comfortable using are Camille Rose, Curls and Curlsmith as well. I know Curlsmith actually just came out with a specific color safe shampoo and conditioner. I've used them both, they're so good. So I'd actually recommend that for you as well if you're looking for the perfect products to find. But yeah, those brands always get a pass for me whenever they bring out products. You don't have to worry about it being toxic or having any bad chemicals in there or anything like that. They are really curly girl friendly brands that I definitely recommend you check out. So if you are watching this video and you feel like you've already colored your hair and you feel like your hair is already damaged, you kind of started off on the wrong foot, don't panic. It is okay. We can actually probably revive your hair. My number one product, if you are an OG follower, say it out loud right now because I know you know what I'm about to say. I preach about this all the time and I will continue to preach about it because it is literally life-changing, life-changing, okay? I will definitely suggest to you the number three hair perfecter by Olaplex. It is a bond builder. So any type of damage, even if your hair is not color damaged, but if it's heat damaged, if there's environmental damage, any kind of damage in your hair, it literally works to repair the broken bonds in your hair shaft and literally bring your hair right back to life. Honestly, I, I can't live without it. I literally 
can't live without it. It's really, really good. I will also say that protein treatments are also gonna be your best friend because that hair shaft is opening right back up. Those proteins are gonna smooth it right back down and kind of heal and repair the hair as well. So that's like a double whammy. You got your bond builder and your protein mask. If you're feeling really damaged, that is exactly what I'm gonna suggest for you. My current favorite protein mask is actually one that's like a hybrid product. It's really good for repairing your hair, but it's also got a really nice moisture element to it as well. So I definitely love to recommend this to everybody. And this is the Brio Geo Don't Despair Hair Repair Mask. It is so good. I will link all of this for you guys below if you need to check it out, if you need to revive your curls, bring them back to life. I swear by these two products, they are life-changing. So yeah, even though I am the biggest advocate you will find to encourage you to keep your curls nice and healthy and happy, I will never discourage you from coloring your hair. I think that's a natural thing to want to switch up, to want to play around with it. I think you should be able to have fun with your hair because you know what? At the end of the day, hair is hair. So yes, I am giving you tips to help to maintain it and keep it nice and healthy, which is all great. But at the end of the day, if you mess up and if your hair is a little bit damaged, hair is hair and it will grow back. So I did write a blog post on this. This video is obviously a little bit more in depth. I've given you a little bit more information here for sure. But if you just wanted to kind of quickly refer back to a post where I'm giving you five ways that you can maintain healthy, happy colored hair, then you can check out my blog post. It's gonna be in the description box below or you can just rewatch this video again. I really hope that you guys found this video useful. And if you are gonna go ahead and color your hair, please use my recommendations. Please, 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 please. And then tag me when you do it. I wanna see your beautiful, flourishing colored hair sis i want to see it all thank you guys so much for watching if you do have any additional questions for me you can go ahead and comment them below i'll catch you in the next one bye